Yo, what's up guys? It's Corn70 here. Uh, it's Thursday, so that means uh, it's week two. Getting ready for week two of the NFL. The Lions head to Lambeau Field to play against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. The one and only primetime game the Detroit Lions have. Okay. Last week, show. I don't I don't know how to I I don't know how to uh, what to say. Uh, our defense still looks awful, although our offense looks great with Jared Goff. So you know, it looks like we can still put up points. So that's that's a good thing. Um, but it looks like our defense really can't stop anybody right now. But that doesn't mean it can't change. You know, I trust this coaching staff. I really do. I trust this coaching staff to turn every, uh, turn things around. I'm not going to say right away. You know, it, it it probably won't be this week against the Packers. Who the Packers are coming off the worst loss in Aaron Rodgers' career. 38-3. Um, or 31-3. Is there 31 or 38-3? However, I do not believe Aaron Rodgers is going to have that type of game ever again. And my fear is he's going to take it out on us. He's, he's probably pissed. The whole Packers team is probably pissed. And they're probably going to take it out on us. So I expect them to score, just like the 49ers did, 30-plus points on Monday night. Um, so which means the Lions are going to have to do what they did, score 30 points again if they have any chance of winning this game. So that's one of my keys. Score 30 points or more. Um, because I feel like and their defense did not look good at all. And, I mean, and they have, on their team on paper, one of the best defenses in the league. And they did not show that last week. You know, so I don't expect them to have a huge turnaround in defensive either. Um, so I, I can see it being a shootout. I really can. So, uh, our, and if it, in a shootout in the NFL, if you score 30 or more points, you have a chance to win. So I feel like that's what we need to do. I'm going to have, like, four or five keys here. My second key is... Don't wait till the last five minutes to start scoring 24 points. You know, if you're going to play your best football in five minutes, you're not going to win the game. I mean, we nearly did against the 49ers, but you can't keep doing that if you want to win a game. So we got to come out strong. I think we got to come out striking. Um, you know, you just come out and play a full 60 minutes. I mean, I'm proud of them last week for not giving up and almost coming back, you know, having a chance at the end. I'm proud of them. You know, they showed some heart. They showed some grit. But, I mean, we got to play 60 minutes of football. So that's basically my second game. play 60 minutes of football. Um, number two, our running game looked, looked, looked great, considering how our running game in the past looked like against, you know, so Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift, they look good. You know, my under key is continue doing that. Continue doing well on the run, which will open up the pass game. Uh, number four is limit turnovers. You know, just like Jared Goff did. His only blemish really last week was that pick six. You know, he minus the pick six and the missed field goal, and that field goal was made. That pick six didn't happen. We would have won the game if everything else happened the way it did. Obviously, it wouldn't have if, you know, those things didn't transpire, but... You know, just just saying. You know, if everything happened the way it did, and that pick six never happened, and that field goal would have been made, the Lions would have won last week. So we got to limit those interceptions and fumbles again, um, and vice versa. We got to create turnovers. You know, we got that big turnover at the end of the game that gave us a chance at the end, and then that uh, fumble snap recovery took advantage of that, although we couldn't score. But you know, we got to try to create some turnovers. Aaron Rodgers threw two interceptions last week. You know, can we see if we can make him throw another one? Who knows? You know. And I guess if I have fifth key is don't let Aaron Rodgers do what Aaron Rodgers does. And that's really difficult. Um, like I said, I don't expect him to have that type of game like he had last week. You know, a lot of people are saying he just doesn't care anymore. He doesn't want to be on the Packers anymore, which is true. He probably doesn't want to be on the Packers anymore. Um, but, he, you know, he still wants to win. I know he does. But who knows? Maybe maybe he will be throwing away the season. I don't know. He, it, it all depends. I mean, this is only week one. You know, he didn't play any of the preseason, didn't do any a lot of training camps, so there obviously is going to be rust, no matter who you are. Um, same with all the starters of Green Bay. They really didn't play the preseason, so there's understandable rust. So, 
you know, we're going to see come week two is, was that rust or was that just Aaron Rodgers just not carrying anymore? You know, which I highly doubt. Uh, I expect a different Packers team than the one that played against the Saints. I really do. So, like I said, those those keys. Play 60 minutes of football. Score 30 for more points. Get the run game going again. Limit turnovers. Create some turnovers. You know, those things. We'll have a shot. I think we'll have a shot. Um, but really, we, we really got to make some stops on defense at some point. The first half against the 49ers, the defense could not make a stop. The only time really did was when that fumbled snap. And they really didn't force it. You know, the, 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 the center just flat out failed on the snap. But we just recovered the football. So, you know, we really got to make some stops on defense. Whether it's creating turnovers or making the punt. Uh, I feel like it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, maybe not as exciting as the last one in a football game with the Raiders and Ravens. That was a really fun football game. But I don't expect it to be a blowout either way. Because I feel like this Lions team, they're they are not an elite team. However, they aren't pushovers. They won't, they won't just let you beat you down, which is good to see. They, you know, it looks like they'll fight to the very end. And, you know, we'll, we'll probably need that again this week coming come against the Packers. You know, but if we can still manage to beat the Packers, we're going to be in golden spot throughout the rest of the year, I feel like, because we nearly come back against the 49ers, so we're probably going to have some kind of momentum going into this week, saying, you know, we were this close. All right, let's go out there and let's show that we can win. And the Packers will fall to 0-2. We'll go to 1-1, and and, you know, depending on what the Vikings and Bears do, you know, after week two, Lions will be sitting pretty if they can beat the Bears, I mean, beat the Packers. But, you know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, you know. So, I can't wait, though. You know, I'm just glad football's back. I said that before. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I feel like the Packers just has too good of an offense to do what they did against the Saints. I mean, they got Aaron Rodgers. They got Aaron Jones, one of the great running backs in the league right now. Devontae Adams, one of the best wide receivers in the league. Their defense, they got Jair Alexander, one of the best corners in the league. Kenny Clark, one of the best D-tackles. Zadarius Smith, one of the best linebackers. I mean, you know, looking at this team, I don't know how the hell they lost by that much. And only scored four three points. Like, I just cannot believe it. Rust or not, like, even if there's rust, I expected them to at least put up 20. I mean, come on. Like, how do you, How? And the Saints' defense isn't all that great. So, like, in all in all, I really don't know how that happened. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy watching that. I really did, you know, because I'm a Lions fan. I don't like the Packers. It was fun to walk out of work, see the score, 31-3. I'm like, damn! Okay, okay. Um, but, no, they're not going to be like that on Monday night. I just I just can't, I just cannot see them be like that on Monday night. be great because they'll never beat them. I would love to see the Lions kill the Packers at home in Monday Night Football. That would be fun, but I don't expect that. I really don't. I expect it to be a shootout, so that's why I say we need to score 30 points. Uh, other than that, I really don't know uh, what else to say. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Let's go on and try to beat the Packers. Go Lions. Have a great day, guys.